Welcome back everybody, it's Proxy, and today we're just gonna be feeding some guys, cause y'all are starving around here. No one's feeding anyone! No, that's not all we're gonna be doing. But I am gonna be telling you guys about our plans while I feed these guys and level some of them up. So, I decided, our last episode, I think it was, we talked about, excuse me, Graveless, excuse me. We talked about last episode going, are my raptors not here? Um, hello? Why are all these guys down here? What the heck? Are my raptors over here? Something, something must have got in here. Is... That's Ace, so something did... Oh my god. You need to relax, mister. I can't... Oh my god, this is so loud! Can I get on to you guys? Okay, I think this is one of mine. Let's bring him back home. I have no clue what happened. But yeah, so I was talking last time about an idea I had that I wanted to start working on. It's going to take a long time. It is not a quick project. Okay, you need to unfollow. You need to go away. It's definitely a project that's going to take quite a bit to work on, but seeing as it's getting night and it's usually pretty dark and I don't have a torch, I'm going to move these guys over and we'll continue talking about it once it's day. Mmm... I love chocolate. Okay, guys. Pardon my interruption with my yummy chocolate. I am a dum dum. I'm not sure if I was recording or streaming by mistake, but something happened where I ended up not recording me talking to you guys about the project that we're about to start after feeding all the raptors and stuff. So I'm going to do that now while I'm collecting wood and pretty much showing you where we are and, and yes, telling you exactly what we're going to be doing. So I've decided to help out the guys with some PvP arenas. So you guys super, super love when we do PvP events together and are super hyped whenever we do it and it really, really makes us all happy. We super love doing those things for you, and we can't wait to do an another one. Now, the only thing is, is I don't think the next one is going to be at Etho's Castle. I think the next one is going to actually be at one Pomus and Fox have set up together. So I thought, what better way to help continue making PvP events just as fun for the guys and for you is to try and build something. And you might be asking yourself, Proxy, what are you going to build? Is it going to be a castle? Is it going to be like a gladiator arena? No, it's actually going to be a maze. And quite a big one at that, hopefully. I'm going to try to make it anywhere from 40 by 40 to 50 by 50. And I've already started it. So as you can see, I picked a flat land and we are currently at around... 50, 54, 53. So we're in this area, and it's actually... I was going to put it up in these woods, but I thought it would be better to have it out over this water, just so that dinos can't get at us when we're doing this, and it kind of looks cool, to be honest. I think it looks cool, at least. So it's going to go out 40 blocks this way, or as far as I can get it, maybe to the other side. Currently, it's almost 25. I think it's 23 blocks long right now. So we're going to have it in between the 40 by 50. Well, like 40 by 40, 50 by 50. So what I'm doing is just starting to build out. I'm going to do the square first. So I'm going to do the outline, and then I'll slowly start filling it in. And the reason I want to do a maze is because I want it to be kind of like by partners of two. So there might be some games before. So like maybe a race with certain dinos, maybe like a little PvP thing, or like who's the last one to get clubbed out, like an all, like one for all. And the team that does the best will get to enter the maze first. 
and the team that finds the end of the maze will get a prize. Maybe I can try to find a super good dino, or maybe I can try to get some good drops, something to give the teams. And within this, you can actually do some pretty cool stuff like traps and whatnot. I could lay down, you know, those smoke traps where people will go into them and get knocked out and they have to be woken up either by their partner with some stem berries or anything really. And in these wooden, uh, what are these called? Not the ceiling, but this thing here, the pillar. You can actually hide bear traps in these. So they're the perfect size and height to hide bear traps without them being super noticeable. So we're going to do this during the day, but this is going to be completely walled off and sealing off. So it's going to be dark inside of this. The guys can run around or the teams will run around with torches throughout this and they'll be running and probably will be trying to go fast while fighting things that are in here and they might run into a trap and then their teammate will either have to let them out or they'll have to wait the five minutes for the bear trap to spring itself. Other things I want to do is like maybe put in some dillos or something in here so you turn around corner and there's a dillo in your face attacking you. Maybe there's something else. I don't know. There's like tons of different opportunities for us to be able to really build a bunch of different things. And I'm super excited. But I do want to show you how I'm doing this just to give you guys a good idea. So let's take all of this and let's build some ceiling. So let's go ceiling first. And I'm gonna let the guys know in chat that I'm doing this so that if they wanna drop off some wood, if they have extra wood or wanna take like 10, 15 minutes to use this guy and collect some wood around here, they can and um, it'll go towards this, but I'm not gonna make them do it. Like if they wanna come over and help out, they can. If they don't want to, they definitely don't have to. But I'm just using ceilings and the, I keep pillars, there we go, these pillars. And I had no clue how to do this at first. Thankfully, Zach, my boyfriend, who is actually the one who gave me this idea, helped me out with it. So I always have trouble with pillars and I never knew how to properly use them and or set them up. It took me a long time to get that bridge to work, but finally I have it figured out thanks to Zach. So you have your bridge started, so we're just going to call this a bridge for now. And you can only build out two blocks from these pillars because this game has gravity and you have to have supports. So I can't build another one out here. So what I can do is take a pillar and is that I keep getting eaten by piranhas I haven't died yet but I've been kind of close and you look up and you slowly start building down from your support and you have to do it all the way to the bottom of the water and there's one of the guys I was telling you about uh, let's kick his butt get back here guy they actually do an insane amount of damage surprisingly so you won't be able to put another uh, platform or roof down until you have this completely touching the ground. And oh, I don't actually have any more left. I'll have to make some, but you get the gist of it. So you just continue putting them down until they reach the ground and you can continue building out. That's my mom. Give me a second. And while you guys wait, Let's watch our next 120 tame and the naming of our Anklio. All right, guys, so I was looking around and it seems I finally found another level 120. Now he's nothing spectacular. He's just a little dillo, but you know, every single one counts. So we are going to try to get a level 120 dillo today. Oh, and he's actually, okay. He's not that bad looking to be honest. Like, I don't hate him. No, 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 no. You can actually dodge. Oh, well, that was quick. You can really easily dodge their spit that they do. All you have to do is just move to the side when you see them flare up like that. It's actually really nice. Uh, is that in you? Remote use? We'll use a few. I am going to go get on Ethos, whatever that thing is called again. Giga Gigantosaurus. <laughs> Gigonotosaurus, there we go. I'm gonna go run on that, try to pick up some prime meat, and come back over to this guy. 
Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. And do you guys see? I can't really show you. If I look in the sky next to the health meter, do you see? Is it a heart? Is that a little heart next to his health meter? Like right, see where the obelisk is? Like right on that light. You can kind of see right there. I'm like going back and forth on it. Is that a heart? What does that mean? Double rainbow? What does it mean? <laughs> Anyways, let's take this stuff over. Put it in our Petriodon. Actually, by the looks of it, I can probably give this to him now. This looks like it's going down so quick. So let's just transfer a bunch of this into him. And watch it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Easy peasy shampoo squeezy, guys. And we'll name you with someone else's, uh, someone's name from the comments. Look at you, you beautiful 178. I'm gonna bring you home now. Alright, little guy, let us make you a bedroom. So, uh, let's get, no, uh, these guys out. And let's hit four again. So he's not very big, so he's only gonna need a, oh, I need... Um, eight. I need these first. He doesn't need a very big home. He's only tiny. So we'll only just give him like a... A little tiny spot. How do I... Clip in, you dang thing. Like Mia. We'll keep them two, uh... The width of them out too, just so that it's even. But he definitely does not... Are you in the way? Lining this up, guys, is literally... The bane of my existence. There we go. And someone said, okay. It doesn't want to turn. Do you hear me clicking? Oh, oh. Don't do that. I'm clicking, guys, and it's not spinning. Is it? Because if I hit eight and I try to lay this down and... I don't know. A lot of you guys are saying to fix the walls, I had to hit the E button, but I've changed that interaction to my mouse 5 button, or my mouse middle button. No, wait. Oh! It was my mouse 5 button. You guys are geniuses! Holy crap! Oh, no, no. Oh my god, my life. My life has been perfected! Excuse me, you're in the freaking way. We'll level you up a little bit now in a second. Come in here, BB. Come into your home. Come, no, come in more. Can you not? Uh, and you can't push these guys, can you? Okay, let's get on Graveless. And try to get you inside the house a little bit better. Unfollow. Uh, no, 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 unfollow. There we go. Ooh, mistakes were made for a second there. Guys, we have our next dino! Oh well, no wait. We have our next- Oh! <gasps> Why are you 179? Oh, cause you- okay, okay. I got scared. It's because he's been sitting here and he's got levels. I was like, why did you level up? Did I not get the max level? But 178 is most definitely the max level. So we will name you, buddy, uh, from someone else's names in the comments. But right now, we're actually going to name our Ankleo. Who's it gonna be? What's your name gonna be, guy? Are you excited? You're gonna have a cool new name! I'm excited for you. And that's how they show their excitement. Through poop. Alright, guys. So are you ready to see his name? I wonder what it could be. Bum, bum, bum. So... Number one, I'm going to number them. So from however many we catch, one to a hundred. If there's a hundred dinos, there's not. But eventually there could definitely... Well, I don't know how many dinos there are actually. Probably could be getting close to not a hundred, but... <laughs> Whatever. We'll keep numbering them until we have caught every single dino. So number one, our first catch is Action Crash Gaming. And I want to tell you guys the reasons why I pick the names. And so the reason I picked Action Crash's name is because he did a, jad, a dad joke, which had me laughing for so long, it's not even funny. So his comment was, So Proxy, 
Um, or it was so proxy pick and choose your interests. Or should I say Pika choose your interests? Hee <laughs> hee, dad jokes 2015. Come on. You know it was coming when you do Pokemon. I thought it was so funny, like the Pika choose your <laughs> interests. Guys, I'm really lame. I love really lame jokes. I especially love really lame puns or any- whoa, that's annoying. Why did I do that? I can peek at you at you. <laughs> but yeah, I love really lame jokes. That was a super lame joke that I thought was really funny, so yeah, I had to go with it. Thanks for everyone who commented on the video. Holy crap, there was a lot of you guys. It was unreal, and thank you so much. But next episode, we will be naming our Dillo from, once again, another one of you guys. And he will be number two. So, let's continue our Gotta Catch Em All. Okay, so it seems like my mom is done calling, my internet has picked up a little bit, and I'm not being interrupted. It seems like every single time I was trying to record, guys, everything was going wrong. My mom was calling, my nan was calling, my friends were calling, my friends were knocking on my door, my internet was pooping out. <laughs> it really, it really wasn't going so hot just then. But I did show you guys, I guess before, uh, ooh, is there no space in this? God, these get filled up so quick. Before I had uh, to go to answer the phone for my mommy, I was telling you guys about this and how I was placing the posts. I still keep forgetting their names. This thing supports, we'll call it. <laughs> but I'm gonna take, oh, what, what, what's happening? No, it's a Dillo. Dillo get wrecked. Uh, we're going to make some more of these pillars, there we go, because I still have some roofs. It seems like we're going to use a lot more pillars as we go out and as the water gets deeper because we're going to have to put more underneath. So I'll continue building out a little tiny bit, maybe talking more about some of the traps and ideas I had with this. And I want to bring up that this isn't my... I, what is that? Is that? Oh, I guess that's just the hinges. That looked weird. This isn't actually my original idea. I definitely want to say props to my boyfriend for thinking of this. He owns a server, and it's getting nighttime, god dang it. He owns a, his own server, which if you guys want to play, let me know down in the description if you want an ARC server to play on. Maybe I can talk to him about um, giving out the information so that you guys can go play on it with him. And I do hop on there from time to time. So maybe I can, uh, where did my birds go? Graveless? Graveless! What the heck are you doing all the way over there? Come over here, you jerk. Oops. Oh, no. Is it T? Come on, man. Alright, guys. I'll see you in the daytime. Even the nighttime is trying to mess me up. Oh, beautiful daylight. So, yes. The idea did stem from Zach. Uh, if, for those of you who don't know, Zach is my boyfriend. We've been together now four years, believe it or not. It was four years, the beginning of November. But yeah, so definitely his idea. Not trying to take it by no means. I am uh, definitely changing it up a little bit by ways of putting traps and stuff in. Uh, he did have some traps himself, but some traps that I've been thinking of, like adding the dillos and stuff, different dinos inside and whatnot. But I think it could be fun. I'm really hoping the guys will enjoy it, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. I think it'll be really silly, is what I'm hoping. And I hope people don't get too frustrated with it, obviously. Um, anyone who knows some of us on the server, or even mazes in general, most people kind of stink at them. <laughs> so I'm hoping to have it, like, I don't know, make it fun. I'm just, I just don't want it to be bad. But I think our next few videos, I'll be slowly working on this. Obviously, continuing our uh, little dino. Oh, okay. Mistakes. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Can I reach? Nope. Nope. Definitely cannot reach. But yeah. Um, 
there's definitely going to be a lot of posts for this, guys. It's going to take quite a while. Uh, any of the guys who, like I've said before, want to help out and have the materials be my guests, they can do as they please. I would love for them to, but I don't want them to feel like they have to because this is a project I'm taking on. And I know Cthulhu is going to try to help out as best as he can whenever he gets on, maybe collect a few logs here and there. But I'm excited not only to build this because this will be my first really big build, but it's going to be my first, uh, I guess, team type thing, like kind of PvP for the server. Oh, that fits. Okay, good, good. So, yeah, I'm definitely excited about that. I hope you guys are too. You'll have to give me, like I said before, little tips and maybe ideas. No, 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 come on. We just had this, you dang thing. Make it, make it work. Insta-click. Got it. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have ideas for traps or anything, really, I'm definitely um, up to hearing them. I look forward to it. Let's get this last one done, and then I think we'll say goodbye. I was hoping to have this up Monday, but sadly, with all those interruptions and shenanigans going on with my family and the internet, uh... I sadly couldn't, so this will be going up Tuesday. You guys will get to see this on Tuesday. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I enjoyed making this. It's always a blast for me, and it's even more of a blast getting to read your comments, guys. They're seriously always so amazing, and you guys make so many comments. Sometimes I don't even know what to do with myself. There's just so many to read. I love it. But, internet? Internet. Alright guys, we'll end it here. You can see what I deal with on a daily basis in the evenings. I constantly um, lose connection or do the timeout stuff. It's really frustrating, especially when I'm flying dinos. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye!